So and after you learned about Ekman layers and uh, geostrophic flows, you can actually understand the wind-driven circulation of the okay, The wind-driven circulation occupies the upper two kilometers of the water. Okay, it's called the wind-driven circulation. And it's all to do with Ekman layers, and it's uh, to do with processes that we call Ekman suction and Ekman pumping. And we talk about the largest um, coherent uh, circulation structures that you have in the ocean called gyres, subtropical and subpolar gyres. I introduce you to western boundary currents, eastern boundary currents, equatorial countercurrents, and seasonal variations in the, in the northern Indian Ocean due to the monsoon winds, okay? So, and that actually brings us, this is sort of the first half of the, of the lectures. Okay.